Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is 59 coming to you here today. Just doing a quick video trying to show you how to adjust your velocity of your notes here in Ableton Live 10. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure you have a MIDI clip selected. We have it here selected in our sessions view. Uh, you can select it either in sessions or the arrangement view. I'll just click and drag this over here to the arrangement view real quick to show you how simple it is you see now we got it in arrangement view it's the same it's going to work the same either way but for today's purposes we're going to adjust in the sessions view just because we already have it set up here now when you look at your midi clip window you'll notice at the bottom this bar let me go to another one here real quick oh well they're all the same i actually pull this bar up it usually starts out about here and you'll see all these different lines down here. And these are always the velocities of the note, of each individual note. If you take and come down here and allow the, your mouse to go over this black line at the bottom, you'll see the double arrow pop up. When that double arrow pops up, take it and drag it up. And now you can see the velocity of all your notes a lot better, as well as the scale of the velocity over here of each note. Now, in order to adjust the velocity of a note, you can come down here and just grab it right off, or you can come up here to the top, highlight the particular note that you want to adjust the velocity on. Once you highlight that note, if you notice down here at the bottom, that note, the line for that note is a lot darker than all the rest of the lines here. And that allows you to grab that particular line and bring it up or bring it down. And I want you guys to look right down here on this line in your lower left hand corner. And every time you go to grab one of those notes, even if you're not looking at the scale over there, seeing where exactly you're putting it at, it shows you the pitch of the note, which note you're at, as well as the velocity that you're adjusting it to. Now we're going to play this here real quick. And then we're going to kind of play around with the velocity, kind of get to give you an idea of why you would want to mess with the velocity of different notes. Okay, if you notice, in this particular situation, these notes right here were all very loud and I kind of want to bring them down, but the reason that they are louder than the rest is because of their note placement and them being played together. So I'm just going to bring them down a bit, all those velocity as well. I noticed right in this section, these notes sounded very low, even though they had a high, we'll see here's their velocity right there. It shows you. So I want to bring the velocity of all those up. Now let's play it again. Notice that difference there, how it blended everything and made it all sound so much more smoother. That's one of the tricks that Velocity is very good for, kind of morphing the sound that you already have so it isn't so rigid or um, stagnant. So again, guys, this is 590. Just wanted to show you guys that quick tip there on Velocity of your notes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you want to see more of, and uh, thank you.